All right, now if the moderates are being squeezed out or shouted out by the far right wing of the Republican Party, what does that mean for progressives? Should they also run towards their base or at least stand on principle, at least time to time? Democratic Congressman Raul Girajalva joins us from Arizona. Congressman, welcome. Thank you. All right. Good to be here. Uh, first of all, uh, you know, the Republicans won huge in the House. So does that provide yes, any kind of uh, lesson for the Democrats that perhaps running towards your base or be, being more ideologically com uh, consistent, not compromising, that politically that might work? I think, I think the, uh, the lesson to be learned is that uh, the too much caution, uh, too much uh, trying to make craft policy and legislation uh, to as, as a protection device and not as a, a, a device that's going to help people, uh, it, it gets us into trouble. And, and I think it's not a question of ideological purity as much as I think the party, my party, the Democrats need to stand for, for, for things. And I, uh, there was a confused message out there. Uh, things uh, and and the consequence is that we were uh, we were vulnerable because uh, we didn't have a full plate uh, to take to the American people. Job creation we should have done that first with the stimulus package. There's a lot of what ifs, and I hope the lesson learned for us is uh, now that we're in the minority in the House is to set that agenda up as a contrast to what the majority is going to do. I think that is the best way to go to our base, and that is the way best way to clearly define who's who in the House of Representatives and Democrats and Republicans. Uh, Congressman, uh, now the Republicans are talking about a mandate. Uh, I actually want to go to Mitch McConnell. Of course, he's the uh, leader of the Republicans in the Senate, and he had this to say about compromise. Oh, my bad. <laughs> okay, we had a quote on him, and basically, you know what they said. Hell no, yep. we're not going to compromise. Now, they say gotta, they got a clear mandate, and you got to get out of the way. Okay. Uh, now, yeah, did they get out of the way the in 2008 two when you guys had the clear mandate? No, and, and in fact, uh, that, that was part of the gridlock, that was part of the obstruction, particularly in the Senate. Uh, and uh, you're going to see that uh, the issue of consensus building, uh, bipartisanship that the president wants so badly, uh, was uh, for two years, was, was obstructed all the way down the line. So uh, I don't see that announcement by McConnell any, any different from the practice that they've had uh, during the last session. So uh, is the White House today in reaching out to Republicans again being awfully naive? I think, uh, I think the president's uh, courtesy, and his, his, he's the leader of this nation and needs to meet with everyone. And there has been a power shift in the House of Representatives and he has to, to meet with the leadership. But I, I think that what, where we need the president right now is to be at the forefront of this of this debate we're going to have about the role of government in American people's lives, whether it's education, the environment, taxes, or job creation. And uh, uh, one way to rally the base is to have our president talking about those issues. Real quick, Congressman, let me ask you, the third Democratic congressman today, uh, the president said that he would agree to the Republicans' tax cuts for the top 1%. Uh, is that a terrible mistake? I think it is. I think uh, I think it's a, it's a concession point uh, that there might be some political tea leaves I don't understand, but as an, ec an economic uh, solution to the deficit and to the investment that we need to have in job creation, I think it's a mistake. All right, we're three for three. Thank you, Congressman Raul Guerrero. We really appreciate your time here today.